Hello, welcome to Tirana, Albania. One of the most, for me, unexpected places where not just great wine is coming from, but amazingly historic wine. We're in one of the, maybe the most closely related ancient Illyrian land. And I'm in a paradise, not just because Recep is pouring me <laughs> Raki, but from wild, <laughs> from wild grapes, wild Albanian grapes, but we're Cheers. in we're in his vision. Cheers. 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 Uh, beautiful permaculture. Uh, his family, Uka, uh, Uka Farm. Uh, again, Dr. and Professor Recep Uka and his son, Flori, who has spearheaded now winemaking and Raki production, but in the land that your father cultivated and created. So if you don't mind, uh, Flori, give a little introduction. I started my business in a good basement created by my father. <laughs> <laughs> so it was easier for me. <laughs> uh, I'm Flori Uka, I'm a winemaker, and uh, I've been studying in Albania for three years in the University of Tirana in winemaking and in Udine, Italy for winemaking as well. I've been working there for five seasons uh, in different wineries and I really had a good experience there but uh, my experience with the grape varieties of Albania, the Napa grapes, was much more excited and satisfied that it brought me back to work here with these varieties. For me it's very important to promote these varieties because these are, these are resources that Albania has that somebody should take care of. Forgotten uh, but very historic. Forgotten, yeah, but very historic. Uh, and uh, working with these grape varieties, I really think that Albania with the wines from these grapes will be soon a new world wine map. Borderless wine map. Borderless, nope. yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Good. And um, maybe could you introduce your, your father? And yes, uh, my father is a professor in agriculture, he's an entomologist. Uh, he's a uh, the creator of this farm, and he applied all his philo He will explain himself, and uh, I'll, I'll be the translator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it's a very big privilege to live in country. <laughs> I'm having a great time here already. Music art. Welcome. Mr. Priva Family Local. In Albania, at our farm. In the toy too, for his years and his years and years. We get this amazing. He lives here for from 66 years. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it, Rome wasn't built overnight. Uh, just to give some perspective, it's a beautiful permaculture farm where figs are growing next to tomatoes. We're under apples. It's spectacular. democracy. I live both uh, communism and democracy. Communism no kishim as uh, during the communism, we didn't have any choice. The, the chance in that democracy. This was a chance that was given from democracy. To live and to do what you know better. I uh, thought on building this farm. Convinced that the farm will build us as well. More personalism the family and me. Me personally and my family. Me and me, the end of me, or little and two. My children, my sons, were grown up here. The way in the two and me model yete, for this Brazilian nature. And we built it a model of life for all our generation. But we suffered a lot. Just to let you know. See, the yeto in the permit punus. How to live with the work. And in my limited experience in Albania, seeing permaculture everywhere, uh, grape vines on the outside of corn and wheat fields, this is on a whole new uh, direction and level. Uh, really a big, big vision here. Uh, so? I think that Albania is a small country, but with high resources, too, too many resources. For more, the professor Iksai Fuse, biodiversity is the passion of the country. For me, as a professor, uh, 
the biodiversity is the richness and endlessness. We see the base of Saiterme and biodiversity. The basics, the principal basics of this farm is the biodiversity. And Two I was, oh, plants are symbiotic. Dimetri and symbiotic. Uh -huh. No allelopathic. Cecilan, Dimon, Nieratia. They help each other. The Kyo, Muamakrion, Munsi, Chit Provoy, Producte, Organica. This uh, gives me the opportunity to produce uh, organic products. Sipse, Activizot, Natura, Ejifa. Because you activate the nature. Uniami Mendimitia, Ferma Nevoga, Chita Shipria, Ferma Shiprishwa, Nanita, and Pureta, Ferma. Uh, the Albanians has uh, Albanians has small farms generally because the, the, this was the division ne, of the state. Ne ne do professionalism to manage these farms, we need high professionalism. Dom, it's like it's not like big domendoja fields. Next, right. Domendoja an extreme. Domendoja agronom per one meter kadro. I would think extremely an agronom for one meter square. <laughs> so to make a project for one meter square. <laughs> one agronom for one meter square. <laughs> So it should be so much professional. Only like this, uh, to each product of the farm, the value goes higher. So we go with a uh, uh, add value. Added value. So if you have a bit of a skyjet, a refnizet, a pezjet, a ponoyktu. After 25 years of working here, I'm convinced. Even though I'm very young to, to give very right small, to Jefferson. Very small. <laughs> my, my English is not perfect. Eh? <laughs> I, I suffer from uh, perfectionism. I suffer from the perfectionism. That's why I don't speak English. Because <laughs> Jefferson said that the family and the rural is more large than urban. Yes, Jefferson used to, to say, to, used to to say that uh, the, the family of the rural uh, part is the moral, higher. Morals of rural uh, family and uh, are more higher than the, the urban. urban. <laughs> so uh, he the, gives priority to the, the urban. For Bidjitha, Bidjitha is much Better than everything is much more healthy. Uh, and I was thinking, living in rural. so, so, re uh, uh, Dr. Regip, uh, Dr. Uka was the head of the Ministry of Agriculture, and this idea of, you know, biodiversity, of course, in land. But I I've really felt it with with the people and cultures here. It's a place where there's not just tolerance for religion, but there's always been living amongst amongst people. So this there's something holistic here about land and, and diversity that's always been accepted here. And I don't know that people know that much that part or much of anything about Albania. Um, probably people watching this have never been. Maybe they yes, know yes. a little of the history, but they don't know about the richness and the tolerance of diversity from people to plants. There is lack of information from for Albania abroad in other countries. Yes, agreed. I agree. And, uh, I, I would really ask my father about that with, uh, description of Albania for people that nev have never been here. <laughs> One thing I'm really happy. Uh, so I'm happy because this model, this is paradigm, a, is, a, is model for, for, for a model for a lot of people to get inspired anyone. to work on agriculture. Sepse, this resource that nature offers to Albania, there would be very uh, good incomes for the we are, population. we are a small California without fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll stay. 